Hello and welcome to another custom NPCs video. This video is going to be all about how to set multiple quests onto one NPC. So let's get started. So we're going to go to global and to begin we're going to start with dialogues. So this is the menu you get. We're going to add a category called Stephanie. So that's the name of our NPC. Uh, and then we're going to do an add. And then we're going to do start chatting. Okay, so in start chatting, we can go to edit and we go to dialogue text. And Steph's going to say, you got anything for me? So that's going to be how we do it. I'm going to go for the dialogue wheel here. And this way we're able to have multiple different quests that we can link to. So what we need to do is, so if we look at what we've got so far, we can put, and it's literally just started, but this is, the, we'll put the start chatting in here. So we talk to Steph now. There we go. You got anything for me? So there's the beginning, right? Okay. So what we need to do is we need to construct a series of dialogue options. So this one could be, for instance, I've got gold. Uh, and don't worry if it doesn't update immediately. I don't know why it just does that. I've got diamonds. I've got emeralds. Okay, so if we just go into it again, you can see I've got gold, I've got diamonds, I've got emeralds, okay? So, we, and you can see here we need to link it to a dialogue, right? So what we need to do then is we need to have three more dialogues. So we'll have a dialogue called gold, we'll have a dialogue diamonds, and we'll have a dialogue called emeralds, right? Okay, so this is going to appear after you say, I've got gold, I've got diamonds, I've got emeralds. Okay, so what we're going to need to do then is we're going to have uh, in the dialogue text, uh, we're going to have, this is what, what she's going to say, right? We can make some earrings with this. Okay, I haven't actually thought this one through. Um, and in diamonds, let's see. Uh... I could, get, I could get a ring. I could get a ring with this. Um, and with emeralds, uh, I could get a brooch. All right. Okay. So what we need to do then do is we need to link up the start chatting with these dialogues, right? So we're going to go back into start chatting. And then we'll go to dialogue options. I've got gold, select dialogue, gold. Done, diamonds, select dial uh, dialogue, diamonds. Emeralds, select dialogue, emeralds. Okay, so let's have a look now, uh, now that we've done that bit and see what happens. So you can see, you've got anything for me and now we can do, I've got gold, I've got diamonds, I've got emeralds. So I've got gold. I can make some earrings with this. I've got diamonds, I could get a ring. I've got emeralds, I could get a brooch. So there you can already see that this is the way you're going to link it up. So we haven't actually made the quest yet though, right? So let's go back in. And now we need to actually make the quest, right? So what are the quests going to be? Well, as you might expect, in quests, we're going to need to do... So... Do a category, stuff for Steph, and we'll add a quest. So we're gonna add gold, we're gonna add diamonds, and we're gonna add emeralds. Okay, so you can see now we have all the all these three quests here, right? So we wanna actually write the quest as well. So with diamonds, right? So uh, give Steph five diamonds and complete to Okay, uh, and then we need to actually do this. We're going to make it a repeatable quest and complete by NPC. Stephanie is already correct, right? So type item, and then we're going to say five diamonds, right? So that's five diamonds, and in return, we have a reward of one cobblestone. 
Okay, and that should be that. Okay, so again, we're going to go to Emeralds. Price looks great. Let's do five Emeralds. Reward is going to be one cobble. Uh, item, it's going to be five Emeralds. And finally, we're going to have a repeatable quest, right? The gold. I love my new earrings. Give Steph five gold. Put a cobble in there. And it's going to be five gold here. And we're going to say repeatable as well. Okay. Okay, so there's the, there's the quest setup, right? So then what we need to do is we need to go back to our dialogue setting and we need to link together the diamonds uh, dialogue with the diamonds quest. So we'll do that. So diamonds dialogue, and you can see we've got this option select quest. So this is going to be um, diamonds. Okay, and then, and then in the edit dialogue, we're just going to put OK then for this, and we'll have close here. Let's make sure it's done. And similarly for emeralds, we're going to go select quest, put in emeralds. Dialogue options, we'll do OK then. And close. Make sure it's done. And in gold, we're going to do again, we're going to do OK then and close. Uh, make sure that's selected. OK, so that, and that's basically it. That is done now. So that is how to do it. So you can see they're all linked together correctly to their quest that we've created. So now we can take a look and see how this works. Let's get rid of the cobblestone. And let's have a go. You got anything for me? I've got gold. I can make some earrings with this. So you can see, new quest gold, we already have it. Okay then, quest complete gold. Uh, I love my new earrings. Complete. Uh, you got anything for me? I've got diamonds, I can get a ring. Okay then, quest complete diamonds. Wow, my new ring is pretty. And so this is, that, so that's, I mean, that really is as simple as that. I can get a brooch. Uh, okay then, quest complete emeralds. My brooch looks great. So that's all for now. So thanks for watching.